Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a little quick tip for you today, and it's one of them things that really annoys me. I walk around people's houses and I see wall plugs and holes in the brickwork where people have taken things off the wall because they don't actually realize that you can fix them holes relatively quickly and easily. There's a quick and easy little technique to this, but you probably wouldn't think to do it. So stick around and watch the video to the end because it's really, really simple. And if you do it right, you'd never actually know that those holes were ever there. So these are the two holes we're fixing today. There was an old bracket on the wall here and I'll show you exactly how to fix those. But before we do that, if you do like DIY content, please make sure you're subscribed because you're not gonna wanna miss out on all the great content I've got to come throughout the rest of the year. And if the video helps you out today, smash the like button for me because that really helps the video to reach and help more people just like you on YouTube. So you're not gonna need a lot of tools for this one, but you will need to grab yourself some mortar repair cement or some quick repair cement. There's a few different names for this, but I'll drop a link below in the description where you can go and grab yourself some. Believe it or not, you're also gonna need a drill for this. You'll see why in a minute. You'll need a few drill bits, you'll need a hammer, you'll need a screw of some description, and a screwdriver and that is all you're going to need for this job right so what we're going to do first first of all we need to get rid of these old wall plugs first things first grab a screw and screw it into the plug and you don't want to screw this in very far at all that's enough because you don't want to open the plug up too much next step grab a hammer and hit that plug into the brickwork and now you can take the screw back out and you can see that those plugs are buried in the brickwork now the reason we don't pull the plug out is that if we did we do risk blowing the face of the brick out and that's the last thing we want to do because then we'll have a bigger hole to repair now this is where it gets interesting because we need to gather ourselves some brick dust from the exact bricks that we're going to be repairing because if we use any old brick dust the shade might be different and we want to make the shade of brick dust that we use to repair this the closest match that we possibly can so grab yourself a little tub and a bigger drill bit than the hole that's already there. So you can see this is a 10 mil masonry bit and these holes originally were probably a six mil hole. So you can see there we've made that hole a little bit bigger and we've gathered ourselves the perfect amount of brick dust to repair the hole. So now we're gonna move on to filling the holes with some quick repair cement. And all we need to do is fill that hole tightly Pack that full of cement. So start to fill that hole and just start pushing that cement into the hole. It will sink, so you will need to do this a few times. And just wipe off any excess. And actually leave a little bit of the moisture of the cement around the face of the brick. Now grab hold of a pinch of that brick dust that we got earlier. Only a pinch, you don't need too much. And we'll rub that across the face of that cement. And the more you blend it in, like shading, the more inconspicuous the repair will be. Just like so. So that's it, that's our repair done. You will notice the shade is slightly different. That's because the cement is still wet. Once that dries and it's been rained on and all that kind of stuff and it starts to weather a little bit, you'll see that that shade blends in a lot, lot better. But doesn't that look a lot, lot better already than having a load of old wall plugs and holes in the brickwork? And if you do have holes in the mortar joints, of course you can just put some of that repair cement in there and that will repair those holes in the mortar as well. So hopefully that's helped a few of you out. I know it's a really simple little video and some of you might have known how to do this job already. But it's one of the things that really annoys me when I walk around people's houses. So if you have got loads of these old wall plugs and holes in the wall, then grab some repair cement and go and fix them all because that looks 
a lot lot better if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button down below it's free and it helps me out and it'll probably help you out too smash a like button if the video has helped you as well because that really helps the video to reach more people oh and go and check out the patreon there's a link down below we have a discord group on there and you might find that that's really helpful for you to just drop a text on there and say look i'm in a muddle can someone help me out with this job right that's it from me i'm the diy guy and i'll see you guys in the next one